Hey, what's going on guys? It's Zeno here, and welcome back to some more Undertale. Last episode, we took on Undyne, and that battle music was amazing. And, yeah, we did that, and we also helped her out by pouring water on her face, because she was really, really hot for some reason. So, um, yeah, this episode, I I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> so, yeah, sorry, Undyne, sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area, so, like, uh, us real guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. Oh, so she's not married. Okay. She's ugly of four anyway. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, who is this? Tralala, -la, I am the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride on my boat. Would you come would you care to join me? Why sure. We don't really have many we don't have anything to lose to be honest. Alright. Where will we go today? Um oh, Oh, it'll take us places. Oh, nice. Okay, so since one of you guys said that, uh, read the dialogue, I said I was going to go back to Snowden later in the game. So, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and go back to Snowden because I want to fulfill my promise to the guy that asked me to go talk to more people. So, yeah. Tra la la. What's a game you can play with a dog? Asking for a friend. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> That you tell me. <laughs> I think fetch would be pretty appropriate, to be honest. Oh, this is that one place. Alright. Come again sometime. Tra la la. <laughs> Alright. So now we're in Snowden, and I don't think I remember this part of Snowden. Let's continue to play Monsters and Humans. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't remember this part. This must have been the part I didn't go to. So let's go ahead and go talk to some people like one of you guys said to. So let's go inside this house. Let's see what's in there. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. <laughs> wow. Alright. So, alright, what do you say? Wait, I skipped your dialogue. Maybe I'll try frowning for once. No, I just can't do it. <laughs> That's some nice dialogue, man. Alright, what are you? What are you? Wait, I've got a joke. Knock, knock. Uh... That's all I've thought of. <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Oh, it's grill bees. That's nice. Alright. Let's talk to people in here. Grilbs, Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Alright. Did I catch anyone yet? I can't bear to look. Okay. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Okay. He may not look like it, but this big guy writes the most eloquent letters. Here, take a look. It's just the word bark, but in flowery cursive. Alright, you do you, man. She hasn't been responding to our letters. Maybe it's because we let Doggo write them. Alright. Wait. We're considering paying a visit to the doctor. No, not the vet. Well, maybe she's a little like a vet. Alright. To a human, monster food would be very interesting. As soon as you eat it, it converts perfectly into energy. That makes me wonder, how do humans do it? Eat during battle? Oh, yeah, I mean, sure. What will happen to Grillbees if everyone moves in? We're gonna have to have chairs to the ceiling. Alright, what about you? Or are you too drunk? Come on, everybody! Let's party! <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, what are you? What if I ran for mayor? I don't think I would do a good job, and I hate responsibility. But I love politics, so I might be a perfect match. Uh, okay, that beats logic. Hmm? Adjusting the presence is my responsibility. Nah, to be honest, I just keep looking to see if I've gotten one. Oh, that's kind of depressing. Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm talking to my buddy for a walk. It's just a very slow one. Okay. That lady over there has been going for a walk for a while now. But she hasn't moved an inch from where she's standing. Well, I haven't either, but I don't want her to notice me over here. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'll talk to her for you if you want me to, see if she says anything different. Okay. Yeah, okay, she doesn't say anything different. Alright. So... You know what? We never went here, so let's go ahead and go in. Welcome to the Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80. G. no thank you. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your max. Okay, how much? Let's do it! <laughs> Let's do it. Yes. 
Uh, is that snoring I hear? Uh, I heard some snoring. Hiya, you look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. <laughs> Here's your money back. You can pay you can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Oh, that's sick. That's so cool. Alright, I did not know you could do that. Okay, thank you guy in the comments that said to go back. Because if I didn't go back, I would never have known about that, to be honest. Uh, Alright, do we have anything? Heals 22. Yes, thank you. Now let's talk to you. Okay, let's find out. Let's find out where Snowden came from. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages. So unless you're a ghost or can bear under the door, forget about it. Alright, what about your life? Life is the same as usual, a little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we keep- as long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? Oh, that's kind of depressing. Uh, what to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden. Girlby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the end. It's right next door, my sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. <laughs> There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. Well, let's say hello. Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? Uh, yeah, I am. Alright, so that was a nice talk. We found out where Snowden came from, which... I mean, it got settled by a few furry people, uh, according to her. <laughs> so, uh, alright, you know what, let's find out what's in that little igloo. Oh! Well, that is amazing. I would never have known about that. Thank you, guy in the comments, yet again. And this is Papyrus's house, let's see what he's up to, if he's here. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. Alright. And he's not here. Yeah, let's see if we can go in that room, let's see. The door is locked. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> so, let's go back outside. And let's go in the library. Let's see what's in the library. And All right, what are you? Yes, I illustrate all of the comics myself. Yes, I give everyone huge, beautiful eyes and giant muscles. Okay. I didn't ask, but... Cough, cough. There's a day I just don't want to work. It's called today. That's me every day. Don't worry, you're not alone. <laughs> that look in your eye. You think Sudoku is just moderately challenging, don't you? I oh, don't know, I've never played Sudoku. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. We have someone working on it. Wait, what? Is it? <laughs> Library. <laughs> That's nice. Alright, so we talked to everybody in the town, and I'm actually glad I did, because I saw a lot of funny people, and I had a good time, so... Thank you, got the comments, yet again, for the third time. So anyways, let's go ahead and go back to Hotland. Back to, uh, look at it, it's a dog, what? <laughs> what? Wait, what's he gonna say this time? Trilala, -la, Timmy Village. The room before the darkening lantern, lantern room. Uh, yeah, that, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so now we are back at this place. Hot land. Alright. So now that we've done that and gotten that out of the way, thank you for telling me again. And let's go to the lab. Alright, so what's in here? Uh, <laughs> Alright. So we're being vi So we're being videotaped, I guess. It's too dark to see near the walls. Okay. Undone? Oh, mad scientist. Oh, fuck, it's bright. What is this dude? Oh, my god. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy and... Well, you're you're just a hot mess, dude. I'm, you know? Um, hiya! <laughs> I'm Dr. Alphys. Or Alf... Is it Alphys or... Alfies, or I don't know. I'm Asgore's royal scientist, but but uh, ah, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've um, 
been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on screen really makes you root for them. So, uh... And now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through the Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's prop or right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, uh, I don't know what I was gonna say, cause uh, the players give the text. So, you know, just some small practical adjustments, like um, anti. Uh, anti-human combat features of, of course when I saw you coming I immediately decided after to remove those features unfortunately I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so and um now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood <laughs> but um hopefully we won't run into him <laughs> all right dude you, you sure sound sure of yourself oh. Oh god. Did you hear something? Uh, yeah. I think that's Metaton. <laughs> probably! Yeah, that's probably Metaton. Oh no. So... Is it a power outage, or...? Oh yes! Welcome, beauties! <laughs> I love the voice for this dude already. To today's quiz show! <laughs> Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for a wonderful contestant. <laughs> okay, okay, dude. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. <laughs> this is cool. I like this. Uh, let's cry. <laughs> Screaming is against the rules. Oh. Okay, let's start with an easy one. What's the price for a what's the prize for answering correctly? Oh, what? Uh, more questions! Right, sounds like you get it! <laughs> the quiz show continues. Uh, let's try again. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer. Alright. So. Uh, you know what? It's against the rules, right? So we just got a sphere. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams. Oh, no. Oh, what? Dude, we lost 15 help. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains train A and B. What the fuck? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, how am I supposed to know? Dude, don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Pitch. 55. Okay, it, it's not 55. Okay, uh, spare game. Let's play a memory game. Oh no, what monster is this? Oh, it's Froggit! It's Froggit! What? <laughs> that's so stupid. No, that's ridiculous. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah. <laughs> Great answer, I love it. Alright. Oh crap, let's... Oh, fuck. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name at a time? Oh, I hate you. This one. No, 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 you can't read! Okay. Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, I know this one, it's small ice cream, it's the fourth chapter, everyone goes by. Small, small, small ice cream. Uh, uh. Alphys, 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 you weren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me, I'll ask a question, you'll be sure to know the answer to. What does Dr. Alphys have his... Oh, it's a dog. <laughs> oh, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yes, yeah, she scrolls her names in the margins of her notes. She names programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. <laughs> well, well, well. With Dr. Alphys helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But, but, 
This was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, um, it's official. Metatana is my favorite character in this entire game. <laughs> he is amazing. I love him already. Well, that was certainly something. It certainly was. <laughs> That question, he wasn't s supposed to ask that one. Okay, sorry about that little cut right there. I had to take care of something that was kind of important at the moment, so yeah. Alright, so that, that last question, he wasn't supposed to ask that one. Okay, so let's keep on going. I feel bad for him, man, because that, that shit's happened to me sometimes. So, um, whatever. Let me give you my phone number. Th then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Dude, I, I'm like nine years old. But where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Oh, is he? he he's good. <laughs> what was that scream for at the end? What? <laughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and go up here, see what's up there. And, okay. Cool, we can like look at it as we go by. Oh, what is that? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> really? Uh, it's a promo poster for Metatons TV premiere. On the flap it says, thank you for making my dreams come true. Okay, what about this sign? The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters in here. Froggit, Snowy, Dajo, they're all unopened. Looks like Alpha's work table. Seems dusty. Pink goop drips from pink goop drips from this strange machine. All these books are labeled human history. Oh, let's read one. You look inside, it's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are fing. I thought it said fingering. <laughs> are flinging eat air, flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read another. You look inside a book. It's a comic book. Uh, oh wait, no. What it say? A hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Okay. The VHS is a DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. Okay. All these books are labeled human history. Okay. You look inside a book. It's a comic book of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. The scientific books, they seem very dusty. Alright. So, let's go back and see that phone that he made of us. And this is really creepy, dude. It's a video feed of your location. That, that's really creepy, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's a Vita figurine of a female human with cat ears. Okay. The fridge is filled with the instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Let's take one. Alright. It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Alright. Uh, the space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Wait, can we... And no, we cannot. Okay. Uh, what about this? What about this? What about this? It's a bathroom sign for only him. Okay. Alright, so let's keep on going. Alpha's updated status. Just realized I didn't watch... Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. <laughs> really? Dude, you just met me. Updated status? Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. <laughs> she totally likes her. Oh my god, you're so annoying. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Alright, well, you gonna call? You gonna call me, dude? Okay, so... Oh, new enemy. Uh, Vulcan strolls in. Wow. Uh, I'm sorry, I got... Hold on a second, I'm sorry, I'll be right back. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Like I said um, in the last episode, I'm still a little bit sick because I'm recording on the same day. And yeah, uh, let, let's encourage Vulcan. Uh, you tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become extreme. Ah, uh, does my best. Uh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! 
I'm going to die. Okay. Thank you. I thought I was going to die. Well. Okay, let's just avoid all that if possible. Uh, oh, we can spare it. Nice. Alright. So let's go up here. Alpha's updated status. Gonna call them in a minute. No one fucking cares. <laughs> oh, this reminds me of that puzzle in uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Or, I don't know if it's Ruby and Sapphire. It might have been... God, I don't remember what gym it was, honestly. Um, it's like that one gym in... Uh, it was the last gym in Fire Red and Leaf Green. Yeah. Uh, God, I, I cannot remember the name. It's it Giovanni's gym. I know that. Oh, I just said the name. Wow. Um, Alpha's updated status. I hate using the phone. I don't want to do this. LMAO. <laughs> hey, LMAO. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh what did we find? <laughs> Soon, dare plane uh, gets in the way. Not on purpose or anything. So, can we spare it? I guess not. All right. Uh, let's, let's approach. Eh, haha. <laughs> what? I don't understand. Oh, there. It's a plane crash. Uh, soon daily plane accidentally bumps you with its wing. Oh, let's flirt. <laughs> you tell soon daily plane it has nice turbines. Huh? You sicko. Uh, oh, but I was just trying to be nice, dude. Jeez. Um, can we spare? No, we cannot. Uh, let's approach. So I guess he does not appreciate compliments. Looks over. Wait, what do you say? Looks over, then turns up its nose. Well, I hate you too. You you get close to soon their plane, but not too close. Eh, get human. And these attacks are the same thing over and over again. Can we spare? I it idiot. Oh 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 okay. All right. Um, can we please like get like go? <laughs> I'd like to go. Please let me go. Uh, looks over, then it turns up its nose again. God, what? How do I get away? I guess we just flirt with it. I don't. I don't know. I really don't know to be honest. Whether to flirt with it or not. Okay, let's flirt. You tell Cinder Planet has an impressive wingspan. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm sorry. I was just trying to be nice, but I'm gonna die. Okay. Condescending barrel roll. Can we please go? You know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna heal and then I'm gonna see if I can just leave because this is stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying. Alright, so let's flee. Awesome. And let's go this way. And oh my god. OMG, I've had my claw over the last digit for like five minutes. OMG. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Just do it, dude. Oh my god. Thank you. Whoever was calling you before hung up before you answered it. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hi. So, the, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alvis here. Hi. The blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, um, you have to be moving and they, um, they won't, um, move through the, move through those ones, please. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs> okay. OMG, I did it. Claws haven't shook like that since Undyne called me to ask about the weather. Wow. So. Oh my god, stop. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? <laughs> nice, dude. I mean, hey. I mean, whatever floats your boat. Let's go. Awesome. Alright, so we, we done did it. It's a switch. Let's press it. Yes. And let's keep on going. Holy crap, he's gonna keep updating over and over again. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery fl filters all over it. <laughs> Sounds just like half the girls at my school. Uh, uh, Alf is here. The, the the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I I think you should go go to the right first. Well, let's go to the right first, just like he said. And what is this? The way to work is blocked. The special effects were amazing today. The human looked real. Metaton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. 
His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. Wonder if it would be unfun if I explained the puzzle. So, oh, okay. Wait, what do I do? Oh, okay, so I gotta just get the arrow. Alright. It's not too difficult. So, oh wait, that paper, there was a paper there. Shoot the opposing ship, move the boxes to complete your mission, though. Okay. What about you? Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed. You must be a total nerd. Alright. Uh, let's go all the way back over there. And now. Alright, so what do we got over here? Ring... Alphys. You, Alphys here. That blue laser seems totally impassable. But, but, as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotland laser database and take it out. Why, thank you. Hey, what about you? you? You're pretty cool. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules. They've got to cancel school over this. <laughs> Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can... Will I... Uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. <laughs> Alright, so same deal. Um, let's go that way, that way, that way, that way. No. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Um, that way, that way, that way. No. 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 <laughs> I just screwed myself up, didn't I? God, this is... This is pretty hard. Well, it's not hard, it's just... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, 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 oh. Are we. We're not gonna do it, are we? <laughs> Wait, can I just. Wait, no, I can just. Okay, so let's go like that, then that, then that. Oh, yeah, we can just shoot through that. Right? And then. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we solved. Wait, did they spell? Did they misspell congratulations? <laughs> I think they did. It, it looks like it a little bit. All right, so we are good to go to the front now. Oh, okay, and let's go. And the door is unlocked, and now we can go on to the next area. I do not know what it is though. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, I I think um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but uh, you already solved them. Awesome! <laughs> oh, God, he's so awkward. Or, she's so awkward, I guess. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. Ah, it's a kitchen. Oh, no. Oh, my God, yes! Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot. <laughs> I love this game, it's so funny. Reheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today. We're gonna be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone, give them a big hand. All right, sprinkles from the sky, nice. We'll need sugar, milk, and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. Dude, the <laughs> I like how he traps us into milk, eggs in the fridge? No way, darling. They'd get cold. <laughs> okay. He found the eggs, found the milk, and he found the sugar. Here you go, boo. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, what a magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Human. A human soul! Oh. <laughs> Hello? I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait, wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Oh crap, I'm reading in the wrong voice. Oh, oops. <laughs> Uh, what if someone's vegan? Oops. They swear vegan. Vegan. 
Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Alphys. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. Mid MTT brand, or Metaton brand, always convenient human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. All the way over there. Okay, that's very convenient. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? I guess I will. Uh, it's... What's... Really? Really? By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get to the can in the next one minute, we'll just have to go with the, back to the original plan. So, better start climbing, beautiful. Oh my god. Oh no. There's not, yet, there's not enough time to climb up. To climb up. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says Jetpack? Watch this. Oh, that's sick. There. You should have enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Oh! Oh, it's a mini game. Oh, cool. Oh, wait, what? Can I. Oh, I'm supposed to catch them. Oh, I didn't. Oh! Oh, I'm supposed to avoid- I am so stupid, holy crap. I am such a retard. I'm so sorry for being such an idiot, guys. Holy crap. Alright, so we gotta avoid this guy at all costs. I'm so sorry for being so stupid. I did not realize I was supposed to avoid them. <laughs> it's just because I saw the time and I saw the pizza and I was like, Oh, cool, bonus time. <laughs> it was not a bonus time. Oh, man. Alright, get away. So, are we gonna make it? I don't... We're not making that. Yep, we're... Yep, we're, we're done. <laughs> we're done. Wait, we, we might just make it. I don't know. I mean, it's pretty... Oh, we made it! Sweet! Seven seconds to spare. My, my. It seems you've busted me. Or, bested me. But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Uh, Alphys. Oh, uh, I didn't read the text. Well, toodles. <laughs> Alright. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. <laughs> okay, well, why'd you need my soul? Wow, we we did it! We we really did it! Great job out there, team. Well, well, uh... Anyway, let's keep heading forward. Alright. Alright, so... I think I'm gonna cut this episode off here. We did a lot this episode, wow. So, anyways, we met uh, Dr. Alphys, and we also met my favorite character in the game, <laughs> Metaton. Besides Sans, he is definitely my favorite character. Metaton is amazing. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Undertale. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys on the next episode of Undertale. Uh, with that being said, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to reiterate again, so I'm just going to do this end of the awkward outro now.